So Hasselblad's got a new camera coming, and if you're into photography or just love gear that costs more than a used car, this one's worth talking about. It's the X2D 100C2, and um, yeah, it's a flagship camera with DJI's LiDAR autofocus built in. That's right, the same laser-based focus system DJI uses in the Ronin 4D is now heading into a medium format camera. Now. If you've used the original X2D 100C, you probably remember the autofocus being, let's just say, not its strongest feature. This new version, different story. Portraits, landscapes, dim studios, this thing's built to lock on fast and stay sharp. And it's not just hype, this is the same tech DJI uses to nail focus on moving subjects mid-flight. While the inclusion of DJI's LiDAR autofocus in the X2D 100C 2 sparks some hope and speculation about future video capabilities for Hasselblad, since LiDAR is excellent for dynamic tracking and video, it's highly unlikely that the X2D 100C2 is suddenly turning into a full-fledged video camera. But it's still kinda cool to see DJI, known for drones and cinema gear, pushing Hasselblad into this next-gen territory. Under the hood, the specs are still seriously impressive, the same 100 megapixels medium format sensor, now with 8 stops of in-body image stabilization, up from 7, 16-bit color, and 15 stops of dynamic range. That's studio-grade output in a camera you can carry around, well, sort of. It still weighs about 4.4 pounds, but that's manageable for most pros, built-in SSD storage up to 1 terabyte and a CFX Press Type-B slot for extra flexibility are carried over, along with the top display, EVF, tilting screen, and core ergonomic body design. There's also a reworked button layout with a new customizable button and an updated joystick control, plus a color temperature photo sensor and a newly added shutter control port, a quality of life feature for pros. The original X2D 100C had USB-C and wireless control options, but no dedicated shutter port. This addition boosts reliability and flexibility, especially in environments where precision, timing, and no-touch shooting are essential. The X2D 100C already had scroll wheels, but the rear scroll wheel now looks slightly more prominent and might offer better tactile response. There's also a new focusing mode button, a dedicated control that lets you quickly toggle between AFC, AFS, and MF. Unlike the original, where this was buried in menus or had to be assigned, this makes switching modes a lot quicker. An ambient light sensor has also been added, likely for automatic display brightness or exposure metering assist. But let's be real, the excellent color rendition in the X2D 100C is more about the sensor's capabilities and the HNCS algorithm than any ambient light trickery. Basically, Hasselblad's keeping what worked and adding features that actually make a difference in real-world use. As I said earlier, there's no video, none, so if you're a hybrid shooter who likes to mix stills and clips, this probably isn't for you. But if you're all about still photography and want insane image quality with reliable, laser accurate focus, this thing might be on your wish list, assuming you're ready to drop over 10k. Honestly, this whole DJI Hasselblad crossover feels like a glimpse into the future. If drone tech can make high-end cameras faster and smarter, what's next? Uh, either way, this feels more like DJI finally integrating its tech deeper into Hasselblad's DNA. With that said, we are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.